guys, welcome back to the vlog. As you can see, I'm doing my skincare this morning. Starting off a little slow, which I kind of like, but I've got lots to get done. So I thought I'd bring you all with me. Um, it's gonna be, I mean, I have a lot to get done as far as like house things, but um, for the most part, it's kind of like a slow day. So I love those days. Um, what do I have? Definitely a laundry day. Y'all know laundry's my fave. Um, and, um, I think I'm going to vacuum and just kind of freshen up the house because it's kind of getting a little stuffy in here. Um, and yeah, I am in need and desperate need of some skincare recommendations. So if y'all have some for acne prone skin, let me know. I have like combination skin now. I would say it's more still sort more so on the oily side, but please let me know um also for acne scarring i think i'm going to start going to a uh, facialist or an esthetician um because i want to get rid of my acne scarring um and see if they can do anything without me going to the dermatologist um because i'm sure that's probably a little bit more expensive and i doubt insurance will cover it so well maybe they will i'll have to see but yeah let me know your favorite skincare recommendations for acne acne scarring and just I just want like glass skin, like really nice, smooth skin. It's starting to clear up, um, but I'm all like left with a lot of scarring. But yeah, anyway, first things first is breakfast and I got to take my vitamins. garden today so I got some basil I only picked a little bit it's starting to grow a lot but this is I think this is regular basil I've got two type or three different types but I think this is just like the common basil that people know and I've got some kale the kale is growing up pretty good and then some edamame I think this is either snap peas or edamame I forgot which one looks like snap peas so cool I'm gonna have that with my breakfast too is cooking I put together a little spread oh I need to make some tea but I've got my kale for my garden snap peas some tomato feta cheese walnuts and that's it olive oil lime salt and pepper for my salad and then I've just got some bread that I bought from the store because I was craving it and it's kind of hard so let's see and then avocado and then my eggs frying over there. <laughs> Who am I? Okay, so I wanted to quickly show you all. I'm sh I don't know if anyone's noticed. We have, okay, so we have officially, let me turn this light on real quick, uh, painted in our room. Actually, I prefer it off. <laughs> it looks good in person, but it kind of, the light throws it off. But we painted our room. Uh, we're not done yet. We still have to finish this and then also touch up like the trim at the top where a little bit of blue is still pe peeking through. But we painted this room ourselves. It looks so good. I love it. 
Um, I'll share with you all what um, color we used, but I think it's it's Sherman Williams Dover White. As I'm sure you guys can kind of see that. Um, but it took, really my husband did most of the work. <laughs> um, I did like most of the like edge, edge part edging parts um but yeah um i think we've realized we're not painters so we're gonna hire somebody to finish painting the rest of our house uh, we may end up doing the bathroom because it's smaller but as far as the kitchen and the living room i just don't know uh, we might end up just painting both the bathrooms ourselves because it's not like you guys can see it's not huge um and then we don't have to paint this part because we're gonna leave this wallpaper um but it looks so good. It just like transforms the entire space. Like it feels bigger. It feels like more minimal. It feels fresh, clean. It's not so dark like it was um, before. So it's nice, but it's a lot of work. Um, it actually ended up hiring a contractor to come out and give us a quote, but he never showed. So homeowner things, um, you will get that a lot contractors bailing on you it happens all the time so we were like we'll, we'll just like f it we'll just paint it ourselves and kenny dog like kudos to my to my husband but it's it's a lot so um and it's tiring as well but yeah i just wanted to give you guys a little update i can't wait to do a official home tour which is coming um i'm just trying to get everything together i could have just done like an empty home tour but i really just wanted it to be perfect but i've got like study stuff everywhere obviously you guys can see our snacks and everything that's here so i just i didn't want to show it in like looking like this so and then also sorry our guest room isn't done so um it's just we're still unpacking and getting everything together and i just want to make it perfect so it's going to be a while until then if you all want to see like an unofficial home tour i might do that um if enough people like care to see it um but we shall see i think this is in my amazon storefront but i just bought this from amazon and it is awesome i love how it's divided and i can just put shirts underwear pants towels like it is awesome um and then it's just easier to just roll around into the laundry room and i don't have to like carry i mean it's not that big a deal but it's sometimes it's just not enough room in this thing and i have to keep going back and forth so it's nice just to have that i'll fold up clothes that i don't feel like putting up at the time and then i'll keep this as well so i'll have it linked down below if it's not in my amazon storefront or i'll do both if you guys are interested Amazon, it's awesome. It's really easy to put together. It didn't take us that long. I did it, Kenny and I did it together. Um, so, yeah. All right, has anyone else watched the new F season of Bridgerton? Because it's just awesome. I think I'm gonna go back and rewatch the other two seasons and also Princess Charlotte because the ending, I'm really mad that it ended like that which I'm, I can't be surprised because that's just how they do it. But if you haven't watched it, please do. Come on, TV. My friends and I had like a watch party um, last week for Bridgerton and they dressed up. They went to like this Bridgerton event, uh, I think last year. So they had their, <laughs> they had their um, like the whole thing, like the whole get up on and everything. I'm like, well, I didn't get the memo. But we had like a watch party for the first episode and um, I ended up just watching the rest of it over time. But oh my God, the ending. Why did it have to end like that? But at least the next, I think the next uh, episodes drop soon, I think. Like this summer at least. Like it's not going to be like a huge gap like it usually is, which is nice. Um, but I think I'm going to go back and rewatch because oh my God, I, I feel like I need to refresh my memory. And I am very sad that I mean, I know they're going based off the books and stuff, but it's just like, you can't have Simon and Daphne in the first season like that and then cut them out. Like that was such a fiery season. Like, come on. So anyway, um, but I am very happy about Colin and Penn because it's just, it's just nice seeing her starting to come out of her shell and everything. I haven't read the books, so I don't know like what happens or like what the story plot is. Um, but I'm really hoping to see Eloise come out in her, her, um, come out of her shell, you know.
Or maybe she won't, you know, she's like a firecracker. While I'm getting dinner prepped, um, we're having chicken tonight, easy meal. Um, I need to make a disinfectant spray. So I'm gonna put some ammonia in this, repurpose this uh, Mrs. Myers multi-surface cleaner because honestly, y'all, as eco-friendly as I'm trying to be, I do not play about germs. So we're just gonna do this little number, have a little ammonia in here. Mm, it doesn't smell strong enough. This is like, this is my non-negotiable as far as, you know what I mean? So, this is Myers, I'm gonna repurpose you. It looks cute, but it's powerful. And since I just had chicken in here, I'm gonna spray everything down. I wanted to give a quick little update um, before I end the vlog on school. I haven't really talked about it a lot. I don't think, um, honestly, it's been something that I've been trying to push to the back of my mind because it's like, it's nerve wracking and it's so scary not knowing what your life is gonna look like in the next six months. Like, it could either, either way, it could change significantly. Let me pull you over here. I kind of touched on it. I am in the process of well, I've already applied, but um, I the last time I talked about it, I was going to back to school and I had finished my last semester. Um, I got an A, another A in my second anatomy class. So that's all behind me. Um, now I've, I took the T's exam, I took it twice. Um, and it was a beast. I studied for a good month straight and um, I, took, I took the test again and I did score higher. It's hard to talk about because it's something that I really want. And if I don't get in, like, it's gonna be so disappointing. And like, I have to tell you guys, like, I didn't get in. But, you know, it could be a testament. I could get in next year. I could get waitlisted and, and be able to go next year. So, like, I feel like either way, it'll be a win win situation. I feel like, and like, the only downside of it is I'll have to start a year later, which isn't the end of the world, but. I'd rather start sooner sooner than later. But anyways, just keep me got keep me in your prayers, guys. Like I really really want to get into this uh, rad tech program and just start this fall. So, anyway, I um it won't be the end of the world, you know. I have so many other things that I could do as in the meantime and I can reapply next year. But I just wanted to share cuz I feel like I've been holding back out of the fear of like disappointment, disappointing myself, and then also maybe like a little bit of embarrassment. But it happens, and if I don't get in, I can share it with you guys. Like it's not the end of the world, it's okay. Um, I had really good grades, I had a really good T score. Well, I wanted a higher score, but the, the score that I got was really good, pretty good for only studying for a month. Um, and um, yeah, so anyways, I will know within the next few weeks if I get in or not. Um, I've already applied and did the application and everything, so it is all a waiting game. So anyway, I'm going to finish up my day. I've got to head out. Um, I will be vlogging that. That'll be in a whole separate vlog. I just wanted to kind of, I just wanted to um, edit. <laughs> I don't even know where my mind is. I feel like my mind is mush. I just wanted to vlog kind of my morning and what I was doing up to this morning. Um, and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye, guys.